Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix the disk code is stuck on your stocking screen, and then how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into a step. So the first one is all about you have to go over here in the search or navigate to the task manager and you have to click on the task manager. And right now, once you click on the task manager, you have to expand this and go over here at the top and search for this code. Right now, as you can see, the disk code is running in the background. And if you find the disk code, right click and go for end the task and remove the disk code from here. And you have to check with the gate. See, if you're having the trouble, then we just need to run this disk code as an administrator. Maybe that'll help. To do so, just go over here, search for the disk code and run it as an administrator and go for yes and you have to check. This might fix the issue. Most probably the disk code might be opening without an issue. If that is the case, you'll be happy with it. But if that's not working, do not worry, we have few more steps. So let me launch this disk code right now. As you can see, the disk code is launching fine. Now I wanted to check it with few more steps. So still, if you're having the trouble and you're not able to launch the disk code, what you need to do is once again, just go over here, right click on the start, right click and directly navigate to the task manager. Now from here, I have to expand this, check whether the disk code is again running. If the disk code is running, you have to right click and go for end the task and make sure it is completely removed. You have to dis remove everything that is related to the disk code from here. And now we have to close this over here. And right now, what you need to do is you just need to go over here in the system tray, click on the system tray. And if you find the disk code running here, you have to select right click and go for exit. You have exit option. Similarly, do for the same for the disk code. And apart from this, just go over here, search for the settings and you have to click on the settings. And right now, navigate to over here. You just need to click on the time and language. Now go to the date and time. Now make sure set time zone automatically should be turned on. Time automatically should be turned on. And also the show time and date in the system tray should also be turned on. Now we have a sync now option and what we need first, we just need to click on the sync now. It'll really take it a bit of time, but even it's worth a lot. After sync now is completed, you can check with the Discord whether the show is server or not. But still, if you are having the trouble with the Discord, this is what you have to do. Let me minimize this for the time being and just go over here, search for the settings and go over here in the settings, navigate to the apps. Now from here, go to install at apps. Now go over here at the top and you have to search here for the Discord at the top. And now if you find the Discord here, what you need to do is just go over here, right click and there is an option to uninstall and you have to uninstall it and you have to close everything and you have to check with the game. Sorry, just check with the Steam. And after uninstalling, still if you're having the trouble with this, you just need to wait for a little bit of time. After uninstalling, just let me say five minutes, then you can just go back over here in the Chrome blocks. You can, sorry, you can just go into the uh, Google Chrome, search here, put the disk code, download, and you have to get it to the official site of the Discord, which is this one. Just get into this and you can download the Discord from here. Now, most probably that's going to help you guys out. So these are the steps and I hope this quick video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. That's it. Bye bye.